everybody. How's it going, YouTube? This is the Smart Lever Lock. I tweeted about it, I needed it, I hate carrying keys, so I am resulting into a smart unlocker. So let me just quickly unbox this. So here's the user manual. Oh yeah, this is definitely a little heavyweight. Really cold, actually, so it's gonna be cold to the touch if it's cold somewhere. And there's more stuff in here that I can hear. It's already trying to start working right now. So right out of the box, this is heavy. It does not feel cheap. It's made out of metal. Now this does have a micro USB charging port, so you will have to charge your doorknob once or twice a year. And I will be installing this, of course. So that's exciting for me to take away all my keys. And let's see what else we get. So you can either replace it or not, so that's cool. Here's the charging cable that comes with, and there's more hardware so you can mount in case you're gonna do this on a whole new door. You don't really need to. This is all you really need. So real quickly, let me go into this user your manual and show you the overview installation how the fingerprint is going to work for the program add first user so activate lock by touching the fingerprint sensor once we got it flashing now I can feel some kind of vibration for it Okay, now it blinked, now we have a blue one. So obviously we're gonna test that out to see how it works. Blue means pass and I can hear it move the mechanism in there and it goes back into place. So that's that and you can add the next user it tells you there. It's pretty simple by pushing the pinhole. Alrighty, I'm gonna have to install this and wait for about a week or two and then report back with the final full review of this. So I'll have it all in this video. I'm excited for this. Trying to get rid of all my keys. So all you need to install this is a screwdriver. Just unscrew your old doorknob and you can see what it looks like next to each other. And then you'll want to remove this piece and replace it with the new one. And this is what it looks like. You're gonna slide the new one into place. Of course you can screw it in. I'm just gonna set it for now. But you can see that the fingerprint is inside the room and I intentionally put it in backwards so that you can get the angle because my air conditioning was in the way. You can see the outside would be the inside and the inside is the outside. So as much as I turn, won't turn until I put my fingerprint and unlocks it and then a timeout and you can't open it anymore. So it's always gonna be locked up until you hit the fingerprint. You can see the lever's going up and down and will not open at all. So just touch it real quickly and open up just like that and you can see that it's still working but you get like around five eight seconds and then it doesn't work and I'm demonstrating that it works every time I touch it so it's very convenient so that you can see there's not a lot of trial and error this is a closer look as if you were outside until I hit the fingerprint right in there you can see the blue label and opens will not open even with little effort touch it blue light and then it opens up so it only unlocks with your fingerprint it will not turn without your fingerprint now that was a trial and error and that's how you correct it real quickly now you can see the fingerprint reader is gone because it's on the outside the correct way you can see every time you open the door from the inside it's always gonna open I'm outside turning the handle without the fingerprint reader and it won't do nothing until I touch the sensor and then I can start opening the door. I normally don't show or do this, but I checked in to see if it's still available just to make sure if I release this video. And it says available from the sellers and it showed $340. I paid $90 and that was reasonable. So at this point, I could only recommend the idea of switching out your old school keys for a pin lock, fingerprint reader, or a Bluetooth where you use your phone. I might do one. One of those two just to get away from your keys if you're like me of course keep an eye on this in case it gets cheaper and as always thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time later